Hi boys and girls, this is Yolanda Estani Lucero, and we're here to tell you a little bit about a very special cultural celebration that takes place right around now. It's called Las Posadas, or the Inns. And the way its story goes is that nine days before Christmas, Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem from Nazareth, and they went there to pay their taxes. But Mary was ready to have that baby Jesus any minute. And after a very long and arduous drive, they ride, they got to Bethlehem. And guess what? There wasn't a single place available for them to sleep. Jose, her husband, Joseph, he went knocking on many doors, asking if there was room at the inn for them. And each place said no. That was all full. And so Joseph kept going and kept going, and after knocking on many, many doors and being rejected more than once, he was beginning to be a little bit sad. And Mary, who was well, ready to have that little baby Jesus, really needed to rest. There is a little song about this particular posadas that is available for us to learn, and we're going to sing it for you. And it talks about how Joseph goes to the doors and he knocks and people reject him and it's kind of an interesting little melody but it's all about him having rejection after rejection and finally 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 finding a very safe place for mary to have the baby jesus this song is called las posadas it's actually a two-parter so i'm going to do both parts both jose's or joseph's and the people at the end That 
is kind of a very traditional, typical song. And the way that it works during the posadas is people gather and they form a procession. And sometimes they have a child dressed up like an angel who leads the procession. And this little child is also accompanied by two other children that are both wearing silver and gold robes. And all the people follow these children as they go from house to house asking for the posadas. Now you'll have to remember that the people whose houses they go to are people who have already agreed to be their hosts for the day. And even though they pretend to reject them, at the end of each of those posada nights, they invite the men to have some hot chocolate or some champurrado or maybe some tamales or maybe some buñuelos, which are very typical goodies that we serve during the posadas. At the end of the posadas, there's also a big piñata, and the piñata is filled with all kinds of goodies for the children to enjoy. This is a very typical and traditional uh, activity that's performed during this time of the year. And remember, these are nine days before Christmas. At the end of this little uh, week of, of work, of travel, and of visiting, the people get a chance to visit and eat and celebrate. But one of the things that we have learned as we've studied this is that many cultures do the same kinds of things depending on their Christian background. All in all, this is a very special time of year for everybody. All the nations and all the world have different days to celebrate. But one thing I would like to add as we finish off our video today is that there is something that is also very traditional and that is putting together a goodie bag like this. And it's a way to thank our neighbors, our friends. Maybe you want to put a Christmas card in there. A little, little basket with some goodies. In my home, when I was growing up, my mom would pack an apple and maybe a candy cane or an orange. And they would uh, ask us to take these to our neighbors. Or if neighbors came over to our house for posada, we would share a little bag of goodies with them to say thank you and Feliz Navidad.